the periodic exchange of child support information in Oklahoma. I'm Tulsa attorney James Worth, and that is the topic that we're discussing as part of a series we're doing on child support in Oklahoma and the Oklahoma Child Support Guidelines. And that is the periodic exchange of child support information. It is statutory. It's part of the guidelines. You can find it. Title 43, Section 118I, Subsection D. And what it says is that you're entitled to certain information after a child support order has been entered from the other side to see if the factors that determine child support have changed so you know when you need to file a modification. Has a par opposing party's income gone up? That can be grounds for a uh, modification, but you don't know that unless you're entitled to that information. Well, you are entitled to it per statute. Let's look what the statute says. It says, when a child support order is entered or modified, the parents may agree or the district or administrative court may require a periodic exchange of information for an informal review and adjustment process. When an existing child support order does not contain a provision which requires an informal review and adjustment process, either parent may request the other parent to provide the information necessary for the informal review and adjustment process. So it's not required to be part of your court order. The court can order, you can put those terms in there as part of entering a child support order so that it's real clear. However, even if it's not in your court order, it's still statutory. That's what it says here, that you can still do it. What it says is the information shall be provided to the requesting party within 45 days of the request. And the requesting information can include verification of income, proof and cost of health or a medical insurance of the child, children, and the current and projected child care costs. If um, shared parenting time has been awarded by the court, documentation of past and prospective overnight visits shall be exchanged. And it notes that the exchange of requested information may occur once a year or less often by regular mail. So you can put specifics in your order that say how often you exchange this information, how quickly that they have to provide it to you, what information needs to be exchanged. But if it's not in the order, you can still request it at least annually, um, requesting information on daycare costs, health insurance costs, and primarily changes in income. So with my firm, we've got a standardized form that we can send out anytime it's needed to do so. And uh, it requests, you know, updated uh, W-2 uh, tax return uh, pay stuff so that we can look at what's the year to date, what's the current uh, pay amount, uh, we get new overtime, anything like that. And the statute allows us to do that. They've got to provide the response within 45 days, and then we can make a determination on whether it makes sense to file for a child support um, modification. So if you have any questions about getting information from the other side, uh, periodically, so that you know whether to file for a modification. Um, you can do so under the statute. If you've got questions about your specific circumstances, you're gonna want legal advice to do that. You can schedule an appointment with a lawyer so that you can get confidential information exchanged to get legal advice particularly to your circumstances. To get that scheduled with somebody at my office, you can go online to makelaweasy.com.